Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install immersive portals for Minecraft Java, which will give you the possibility to see inside portals. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you're interested, but all you need to do here is simply go to your search bar and search up a website called Modwin, like so. Once you did this, you should see modwinf.com. Simply click on Modwinf, and now you're on the homepage for Modwinf. All you want to do here is simply go to Discover Content, and then you want to go down to Mods. Then, all you need to do here is simply go and search Mods, and type in Immersive Portals. So, once you did this, you will see Immersive Portals right here. All you need to do is simply click on the name, and now, you are on the Immersive Portals page on Modwinf. All you need to do here is simply go to the Versions tab, and then you want to select the version that you want to play. So there's a bit of versions here, but we can go to Game Version as a filter, and then we can choose the one here. So for 1.21, there's only one of these, which is 1.1.1, so I'm just going to be choosing this. So here it is. And we have some releases. So just download the latest one, for example. So to do this, you simply click the green download button here, and this will download you a file. Then, we're not completely done here because we need to click on the version name, which is right here. And here we see that we need Fabric API. So, simply click on Fabric API here, then go on versions, and then go on game versions, and then select the version that you have downloaded for immersive portals. So, for example, I did 1.1.1, so I click this. I find release 1.1.1 and then you just click this green download button here. Then what we need to do here to run Fabric API and Immersive Portals, we need to get ourselves Fabric. And to get Fabric, you need to go to a new tab, to your search box and type in Fabric Minecraft. Once you did this, you should see FabricMC.net. Simply click on Fabric here and this will be new to the homepage for Fabric. Then simply click the blue download button here and then click download for windows. Once you're done, simply close your web browser and then open up your downloads folder. You can do this by going to your file explorer and then to your downloads folder. You might have a different download directory but for most of you guys you will see your downloads here. What you want to do here is simply double click the fabric installer and then choose the Minecraft version that you have for Fabric API and Immersive Portals. So for me, it is 1.1.1. And once you selected your Minecraft version, just do install, okay, and close. Once you did this, simply go to your Minecraft launcher, and then you will want to wait a couple seconds. Then we will be able to add Fabric API and Immersive Portals to the mods folder. So there is a couple steps here. But the first step we're going to be doing here is going to our installations tab. And then we're going to go to our fabric loader here. And unlike the other times, well, I'll just go here. Here we're going to go to the three dots here. Now, the reasons for this is because we need to change our RAM amount. Because if we click these three dots here and edit, and then more options, we see we have two gigs of RAM. Now, this really depends how many gigs of RAM you have available. But it does work with 2 gigs, it works, but it's sometimes a little bit of stutter depending on how many portals you have. So I will change this to 4, 5, 6, but just make sure you have this amount of RAM available. It will work with 2, but if you have more, you want to change. So just do save here. And then what we want to do here is go to the folder icon now. And then you want to go to your mods folder. Then double click it. Then what you want to do is go to your downloads folder, you want to select the two mods and copy paste here. And then you want to click back to mods and click paste, like so. Here what you want to do is get the .minecraft mods folder with fabric API and immersive portals. If you have this here, simply go back to your Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure fabric is here, if it is, click play.
Okay. So once we have Minecraft here, what you want to do is go to a single player world and then I'll just make a new world. You can play on a normal world as well, but I'll just make a new one for this case. And let's just wait for that. Okay. And once we have a new world, we will want to do is quite simple. We can start using immersive portals. So for example, what we can do is just, well, create ourselves some different portals. If we go into our inventory, we see that we have a second page. Now, this is not to use it. You have different ones, yes, but you do not need this specifically to get it working. The most useful thing here will be just delete portal, this one here. This one might be the most useful one you can have, but outside of it, you don't actually need it. So, there you go. Let's just go and get ourselves some obsidian. A flint and I'll get myself a frame and a eye and these are the different portals in Minecraft so for example if we create a nether portal I'll actually get a pick for the exa example as well but up oh. okay so now it will just create a portal there you go so now we have a portal and we can see through the portal and if I get in here it is so this looks extremely cool like the actual mod and it does work as a live feed so for example if I have a a pig here and I get in and I go to the other side here's my pig so that is really cool so that's how we get these portals to work and the reason this one was useful is because we can actually remove these like so so yeah that's pretty cool so we can just do that and then what you want to do is you can also test out the end portal up and it works the exact same way up. and we can see the end right here we can drop our item and it just gets up with the middle of the map and there you go so yeah that's how we get immersive portals to work and the cow fell and wait what okay and they didn't die but either way that's how we get immersive portals to work for minecraft java so if you like today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye